Hi, welcome back to another Terranscapes mini review. Uh, this video, we're going to be taking a look at Siren Ship Models Miniature Scale Rope. So this is a uh, model rigging rope, sail rope for um, model ships produced by the Siren Ship Model Company. And they offer this rope in a variety of colors. Uh, they have, I think, four black, um, a lighter tan, and another color I can't remember. And they offer the rope in a variety of scales. Uh, they're measured both in, um, oh gosh, uh, that must be, oh, <laughs> silly me. Uh, this is in um, inches, right? And we have millimeters. So I have here a uh, uh, 1.14, um, I have a 0.88, and here um, I have the 0.63, and this is the rope that I show in the video of the Orc Hut uh, roof, and I will put a uh, card up here, link in the corner, to um, get you to that video if you haven't seen this rope in use on that model, and there will be a follow-up video showing that as well, and this rope will be used in other sections of the Orc project, so keep an eye on that project if you want to see more about this rope. So, um, to be fair, there isn't a ton that can be said about it. It's rope. Um, but there are definitely some things to be said for it, um, you know, within the umbrella of what makes a good model rope. First off, the detail is really nice on the rope. It has a very nice twist to it. Um, it looks very realistic for the scale. Uh, secondly, it's got a very nice pliability to it. Uh, it's, it's a soft, soft material, so it's easy to... Um, one of the things that I mentioned in a previous video uh, where I talk about the, the winches for the Orc project is trying to get realistic tension on ropes because if there's a little slack, it really breaks the illusion. So you want a really tight, tight tension on it, and doing that in a scale situation can be really difficult. So having softer rope is going to make that a lot easier. And uh, this is a much softer rope than what I was using uh, before, which was a hemp twine uh, made for jewelry making. Uh, so that was a big step up for this as well. The uh, third thing that impressed me about this rope is its resistance to untwisting. Uh, so you, if you counter twist it to the actual you know, grain of the, the wrapping, it tends to not want to fray. I mean, I'm really uh, forcing that, and it's still right only a little bit at the end. This rope, um, you can play with this, and this is not going to unravel on you and become um, a mess very quickly. You have to abuse it, really, to get that to happen. Um, so that was a big plus for me um, in using this. And of course, the other nice thing about it is that they do offer um, a variety of sizes and colors so you can uh, tailor match it. And I found this color to be a pretty workable, at least in my opinion, a pretty workable color to use on a project like um, a, um, you know, a, a fantasy setting because um, the color is decent for rope as people normally paint it. Um, the threading wrap um, actually does catch a little bit of a shadow which helps convey a sense of depth and uh, I don't have to paint it. <laughs> and I'm fine leaving it just the way it is. I think it looks good enough. Uh, so that's a huge bonus because if you're using another kind of rope and you're going to try to paint it, you're going to affect its flexibility, its ability to, to you know, not have memory. Uh, if you're going to, like, you know, store it or and then, you know, reattach something on your display uh, with magnets, you don't want it to have to, you know, be trying to return to some bent storage shape. You want it to be flexible and come right back to its original length. Um, so, not having to paint it, big bonus. Um, and I'm. Uh, I was going to get a picture of it, and I'm not. Um, so the video that I uh, put that card up to earlier, uh, and actually uh, it will be linked to at the end of this on the um, my my end slate uh, for the Orc project. If you look at the um, Orc hut where I do a close up of this rope, um, I did a whip, which is to uh, make a loop, and then you have the rope. Uh, basically, I'm not going to be able to do it, and this is not how I did it, right? But it wraps around itself to make a like a nice tight wrap, um, not like a noose, but but somewhat similar. 
Um, when I did that with this rope, I used a little tiny drop of super glue on it to hold it in place, and that did a great job of not of uh, locking it down and didn't really discolor it, which was a big bonus. I was afraid that it would really uh, give it a wet look, and uh, it didn't. So. If you want to see some of that in action, go check out that video. Again, there'll be a link to the playlist in the, uh, the end of this video, and uh, that will um, take you to the playlist, and the Orc Boss Hut is the most recent video where I showcase this rope. As a final comment before we go, um, the recommendation from the company is that when you first remove your rope from the package, they say to card it, and um, that's a really good idea <laughs> because um, you don't want it getting into a knot, and when you try to undo knots, you're, um, you know, you're at risk of, of uh, altering that twist. Um, and of course, it's just um, a nightmare, especially as they get thinner and thinner to try to uh, detangle, detangle, untangle uh, these kinds of ropes. So as soon as you take it out of the package, I just used a piece of foam core. Um, I wrote down the, uh, the actual rope uh, size that I was carding and I just wrapped it around it. And this makes a really nice, easy way. See, this is this is old. Uh, this is from an actual review that's up on my Patreon page. Uh, but in any case, um, very easy way to uh, just quickly store it. Um, the uh, And on the way out here, I'll tell you a little bit about um, its cost and give you some final thoughts on it. So having taken a look at the uh, rope in a little more detail, uh, I think this is actually the most mini, mini review I've ever done. Um, what do I think about it overall? Uh, you can probably tell from my description, I'm pretty happy with it. I really like it. Uh, now I haven't experienced a lot of miniature scale ropes, so it's not like I can compare this to anything, but it uh, really met the need I was looking for right away and it impressed me um, as soon as I took it out of the package. So that is at least a plus in my mind. Um, the uh, rope goes for, um, you get 20 feet in a package for 450. And as I said, they have um, uh, a whole slew of, uh, of scales. Um, I think they have three smaller than the smallest I showed you and three larger than the largest, I think. So there's a pretty wide selection there depending on what you're looking for. Um, do I think it's worth it? Do I feel like it's a good value? I do. Um, 20 feet is a lot for most of our miniatures work. Now, if you're into shipbuilding, you probably need a little bit more, but um, I feel like for 450, I get enough rope in a package to do a project and I'm doing it with the best rope I've seen yet. Again, I haven't seen a lot, uh, but um, anyway, it feels like a good value to me. Um, I should also mention real quick before I wrap up that um, if you go to the Siren ship, uh, site, and I'll put a link in the description down below, uh, you will notice that they have all sorts of other things ship related, but potentially useful, uh, like um, blocks. So um, in the ore cut um, uh, project, I, right, I showed you blocks for my elevator that I carved uh, to hold the ropes. So they sell blocks of various sizes. Nice thing is that you can probably, I didn't explore it a lot, match a block to a rope easily. Uh, because I have had some concerns when I've looked at blocks that I was thinking about buying and I'm like, well, which rope fits that? And is it going to, you know, it, you can, and if they, if it's not clear, you can talk to them. It's a small company and small companies tend to have good customer service. So um, lots of extra little doodads there to check out. They have cannons and, uh, you know, all sorts of uh, rigging type things. I'm not a ship person, but I think it might be worth your while to check it out. So. Um, don't forget though, um, that if you want to help this channel stay afloat, sometimes it can feel a little dicey, um, but I've gotten reinvigorated lately, so that's not to say I'm about to go away, but it can be a challenge. Um, you can give it a like and you can subscribe, um, that helps with the, uh, rankings on, uh, YouTube and I like the idea of getting more exposure for my work. Um, it helps me I, and it also um, allows me to connect with the community in a little bit of a deeper way and I really like that as well. So just before I go, I just want to uh, mention I'm on my quest for two videos a week on a regular schedule this month. Um, this was the first one. Hopefully it got out today, which is Tuesday. Um, and of course, Friday will be the rapid fire. And that's the pattern that will be going forward for October. And if you um, 
are interested in helping me reach an important goal for a pressure caster for the Elf Town project, you can go um, to Patreon and you can pledge a small amount. Uh, it makes a uh, big difference. It will make a huge difference if I can reach that goal. And I think I can with, with your support. I feel pretty good about it. Um, but um, there's also um, an explanation of all the things um, that I sort of offer as rewards for my uh, patrons. So you can check that out. And don't forget to enter the giveaway. Link is in the description below so that I can thank all of my YouTube viewers for being awesome and staying uh, behind me all of these years and continuing to uh, hopefully continue with me on uh, my journey going forward. So thank you. Questions and comments are down below. Leave them, I'll get them. And hopefully you'll come back for the next video on Friday because I'll be back on Friday with another Terranscapes video. That's for the thumbnail. Don't cut this out for the thumbnail.